There are 23,000 graduating nurse practitioners every year in the United States. It used to be that you could just pass through with a master's degree, but more and more the profession is requiring a DNP degree in many cases, or at least encouraging one, so that you can get a job. This three-year degree is fairly expensive. People are graduating with 100, 150,000, or even 200,000 of student loan debt from their nurse practitioner programs, particularly if they had to do a post back program to get the prereqs to qualify for the DNP program. There are three major mistakes that nurse practitioners make with their student loans that I'll highlight for you today. The first mistake is choosing a job without thinking about loan forgiveness. If you have over 100,000 of student loan debt as a nurse practitioner, you really want to think about working in a 501c3 hospital or some sort of environment that's not for profit or government employer. The reason is because you could get payments based off of your income for 10 years, and then the rest of that balance will be forgiven tax free at the end of the period. That could result in a windfall of anywhere from fifty to one hundred fifty thousand dollars that will literally come off of your balance without tax consequences. That's amazing. Yet so many nurse practitioners choose a job without this in mind, and that's an expensive mistake. There's other programs that you could use for loan forgiveness as well, like the Nurse Corps NHSC program, but the reality is that the PSLF program for most nurse practitioners with six figures in debt is going to be the most advantageous. Make sure that you're thinking about that program when you choose your job. The second big mistake that nurse practitioners make with their student loans is that they don't choose a repayment plan that matches with their career goals. For example, if you're going to work part-time or you're not going to optimize your income, then choosing a plan like pay or repay would allow you to minimize your payments and potentially go for a max loan forgiveness benefit without having to worry about hitting the full-time requirements or picking the right employer so that you can qualify for the PSLF program. So many times I see nurse practitioners whose repayment strategies just don't match what their life goals are. And whatever your life goals are, that's great. You just want to make sure that your finances reflect that. So decide whether or not this pay or repay program is better for you based off of your individual career goals. The third mistake that nurse practitioners make with their student loans is not refinancing when they should. Interest rates in the federal system are frequently 6, 7, or even 8 percent. That's not an accurate reflection of your credit risk as a nurse practitioner in most cases, especially nurse practitioners that might have 100,000 of debt but also might make 90,000 of income. If that's you, then my suggestion would be that you would refinance perhaps to a 10 year loan term or less because you should be able to cut your interest rate by as much as two or even three percent off of what the federal rates are. If you think about a hundred thousand dollar loan balance that you could slash down from a 6.5 to a 4.5 percent interest rate, that would save you two thousand dollars a year. And that's really valuable. That's two thousand dollars that can go towards paying back your debt rather than just having it go into the profit statement for the federal government. The typical mistake that I see nurse practitioners make with their student loans is about thirty two thousand dollars. Of course, that mistake level is for nurse practitioners who have a higher than average debt load compared to the profession at large. But the important point is to get a plan. If you have a DNP degree, definitely you want to prioritize figuring out what to do with your student loans. If you've got a master's and perhaps you only have 50 or 60,000 of debt, or maybe you have a DNP but you got very lucky, worked hard during the program somehow, and came out with 50 or 60,000 of debt instead of the monstrous per, you know, debt amounts that I sometimes see, then perhaps you can look into an easy refinancing situation, perhaps having the nurse corps, the NHSC repay the debt. You have a lot of flexibility, but the point is, is that most nurse practitioners make mistakes with their student loans that are equal to perhaps one third to a half of a year's salary. And that's a lot of time to waste. If you have questions, visit our site, click, hit the contact button, We'd love to help you figure out a plan for your DNP student loans.